Hey guys, want to try something a little new today, uh, set up my webcam and everything, because I'm going to try to do a vault video. Maybe some live reactions, hopefully if it's only sockets though, and they might just see me bored. But let's get into it. So this is my mage, not expecting too much, right? Uh, usually just sockets, 450s are always good. Weapon would be nice. Uh, these boots are actually okay. I could fuck with these boots. There's a socket ring, but the stats are like pretty bad. <coughs> um, I think this is just a boot stake. Let me just check that I don't have them. Yeah, I don't have them. The stats on them are basically identical to mine, so just easy upgrade. I could even catalyze them if I want to. I think I have already full sockets, so it's not really worthwhile to get. It. So we'll just grab those boots. Be happy with those. So I have eight alts. A lot of alts, so bear with me here. But yeah, hopefully we'll get some good items. I tried recording something like this uh, a few times already. And every week I tried, I basically got sockets on eight characters. So I was like, okay, this is not <laughs> this is not the week to upload. Um, hopefully, this week's a little different. We'll have to get start. So we'll see how we get on. <clears throat> so Priest... And what you'll see like throughout all my alts is that it's the exact same issue. The trinket situations are really, really, really bad. Um, you know, you get to like 440 like really easily. And then, you know, you look at your character sheet and it's like, oh, 421 Alchemist Stone. Uh, 424, I don't know, Rage Feather. Not, not 424, but you know what I mean. Something really bad. This character actually is better off trinkets. I do have the 441 Vessel, which is pretty nice for single target. But I do want the class trinket or the ominous chromatic essence, obviously. I did the three heroic bosses just to try and get those. Let's see what we get. Okay. So no trinkets. There is a weapon. But I don't think I need this weapon, unfortunately. Uh, it's just a stat change, which I could achieve easily. <laughs> There is 447 Helm, which I could catalyze, and I'd gain some eye level, but I would be dropping a socket. So the question becomes then, do we have something else that we can socket? My braces do need a socket, so I could buy them, but I think that that's not the right move. Because if, if I'm thinking about it, if you buy the socket now, next week if I don't loot a helmet or something like that, you know, something useful. I, I think it's going to be a downgrade overall. Whereas I can always guarantee getting a socket. So this might be like a late game purchase. So I'll buy this for now. And then I'll be able to upgrade it later. Uh, yeah, this helmet is hero as well. So it's not upgradable next week. Or in the new patch, unfortunately. So yeah, I think this is definitely the helmet choice. Is the correct one. A little weaker for now, but it'll be stronger next week. <laughs> Hopefully at least. Alright. Unfortunate. No trinkets. But... Next alt. So this character is my raiding character. Uh, I quite enjoy Boomkin actually. I've had more fun with it than I thought I would. Because I used to play it a bit last patch. And they changed it a lot. Uh, and it got a lot more like RNG and a bit boring to be honest. But surprisingly I actually still have fun with it. Um... So yeah, I really do. This is like one of the ones where I have like a higher hope threshold, so to speak. Once again, just trinkets. I really, really, really need the non-use trinkets or a trinket from the raid. Because the dungeon trinkets are good, but they're not quite as good as the ones from the raid. Um, so for example, like Iridius Fragment or Spoils are both pretty solid. Um, but obviously like an Ominous Chromatic Essence or something like that would be better. As you can see, unfortunately, I do have a Shadow Gem, so I'm quite down bad. But yeah, let's check. Oh, not Guardian, let's back. Let's do Balance. I do have a weapon, but obviously I want the Trinket, so. Okay, unf unfortunate. No Trinkets. But let's see what we do have. So, an offhand that I don't care about because I have weapon. Cloak, don't care. Weapon, don't care. Boots I've crafted on, 4 for 7 catalyzable legs and gloves, 
So the gloves would be an upgrade if I catalyze them. Um, sockets would be more valuable probably. Actually, no, I do have a socket on this and these wrists aren't super high value either. I could like buy a socket, but it's the same problem as the priest, right? Also, one thing is like um, if I'm taking gloves, I would want to make sure that there's no gloves from early bosses because those would be catalyzable as well. Once like the mythic track comes out, right? But it doesn't look like there is. Where are the gloves? Oh, gloves are 450 for this for the leather. Okay. Yeah, I think this is just gloves then, and just being happy with the six eye level. Trinket once again is probably like a bigger like immediate upgrade, but I think for the long run it's probably not what I want. Um. Yeah, I think gloves is definitely the right call. Just catalyze them. These wrists are nice and would use a socket. Would be very nice for them, but. I think I'd rather not take the risk and just socket them next week, especially since like I'm not super pressed on getting an upgrade this week. All right, this character has been notoriously my one of my luckier ones. Um, it stumbled upon its gear. I don't know how, but it has. So we'll see what we get. I think like this trinket, this class has yeah two good trinkets. Two very good trinkets, um, like really good gear all all around. And I am crafting a weapon. I did hold on to like I have a spark, and I'm getting another spark this week because um, I'm like not caught up, so I could get another one now. Um, and I will be crafting main hand offhand just in case I loot the legendary. So, so weapon not a big deal. I guess like offhand would be nice or main hand is okay, but not staff hopefully. Okay, so there's a beacon. I don't really need that though, but it's there. Some other random stuff. Braces that I can't use. Ooh, that's really good. Okay, these are definitely catalyzable. Shoulders is my bad slot as well. I don't think I have better shoulders, right? Oh, I guess I have like what could be 441 shoulders, but it cost me an aspect crest, which I kind of want to keep. Um,. I remember I do have 447 helmet, so I kind of need like all the catalyst charges I can get right now, but this will at least save me an aspect crest as well. And once again, it's the same deal, right? Like I could take a socket, but I don't know. You can always take sockets later. I feel like it's not a wise move to always be slamming sockets, so I'm happy with the 447 shoulders. Anytime I see 447 tier, for me, it's definitely like, you know, like, oh, this is really good. Because I'm not so much interested in like jumping to get the upgrades that I need right away. Like I don't need immediate power. It's more like, oh, you know, in a month's time, I want my characters to not to like be bis or whatever. Because then I can basically stop playing them if I don't want to. And on that note, that's a good segue into my Demon Hunter because I do not want to play this character anymore. Uh, originally started this character for alting and raid. Oh wait, this is my Warlock, not my Demon Hunter, never mind. I, no, I like this character. This character I'm prepping for the new patch, because I really love Affliction. Um, so I've just been trying to gear it for Affliction. So a weapon is nice, but I am crafting a weapon this week. I saved my like sparks and stuff for them. So yeah, let's see what we got. So shoulders, don't need... Because it's uh, embellished. Helmet, don't need. Legs, don't need. Legs again, don't need. Cloak would just save me an aspect crest, so it's not a big deal. It's like not it's four for one, it's not even four for seven. The only thing though is you might ask yourself, why is there a four for one here? Did you slack? And no, I didn't. So four for ones are equivalent to like the seventeen or whatever. And these are going to be upgradable to four for seven when the patch comes out. Assuming that there is a retroactive. So potentially this actually could be like um, a four for seven cloak. But I think I don't care about the eye level that much unless I mean, no, I can, I can sock in my items. Although I will say I... Ah, oh, wait, but this, see, this character is kind of tricky because I do have 10 already. And I, like, hesitated to buy a s socket. Ah, uh, this is kind of hard, actually. So it was, I was deciding to whether I want to buy a socket or a spark. So the question is, is there a reason to buy a spark? So this week I would get my, it's like a third spark. I'm crafting a weapon. 
I would want to craft a ring as well. And then... When this ring gets nerfed, I would want to have another ring, but that's in two weeks, so there's going to be another spark. So the question is, do I need a spark for anything else? I have bracers, I have cloak, I have my embellishments. So yeah, I think sparks are not really worthwhile. So I think I just buy socket with my old tokens. Um, one thing I could do is like buy shoulders and then replace my embellishment, but that doesn't sound too hot. Is this really a cloak grab? Uh, sounds this sounds so wasteful though. Uh, let me see. Okay, here's here's an experiment. So, catalyst while well, head warlock. So, what could be interesting is maybe I could catalyze because the shoulder, the cloak there it doesn't have amazing stats. So I'm not super enthused by that one. So I'm wondering if the cloak is any better. So it's low crit, high mastery. And this cloak is low crit. So yeah, it's the same cloak as well. I mean, I think I just take this for... Because I could take socket. But I have socket at helm. I have socket at belt. I could... So and I bought a socket ring. I could socket my wrists, I guess. What are the wrists catalyzable to... Crit haste? Uh, I guess that's like okay. Better than this. I think I do have excess charges as well. M maybe I just take socket because cloak sounds way too low of like value. I don't think I care about cloak. Like if I'm that down bad for cloak stuff, I, I would just craft one eventually. Yeah, I think this was the right call. Even though it's like a, a very minor one now, it'll be a bigger upgrade when the patch hits. So we'll do that. Okay, not my favorite, but it's an interesting discussion though. Okay, the character I don't care about now. Yeah, I made this originally because of um, like Ultron, we needed a DH, and then we recruited a new DH who said he wanted to like do a mirror alt DH, he didn't want to play something else. So it freed me. Um, I don't mind the DPS rotation so much, I've just died so, so much. Uh, like Vengefulling eventual retreating or like the hunt into things like I was doing an underrod with some guildies and I pressed ventral into the hunt and as I was charging the hunt I was like uh oh I'm dead guys and then you just see me dying in like slow motion over two seconds because of the fact that like the boss was casting sanguine feast like the first boss in underrod and I charged right into it found out that I can actually press escape to cancel it I didn't know that but yeah I don't know, this, uh, I've just not had a great time with this, this class. If the gameplay was really fun, then I would like put up with it, but it's been like okay gameplay. It's like, like the rotation is not like amazing. It's not like super fun. It kind of just is there. So that with the gameplay style, I, I don't know. All the death stuff, wasn't vibing with it. Why are my loadings taking so long? Maybe I have like an out of date add on or something. hear noises there we go can't connect to voice chat server okay I think I don't have any UI errors so I think it might just be the servers okay this character wants I don't even know I don't care what I get I'm probably gonna get the craziest item but I don't care ring that's like whatever wrists are like okay upgrade Boots, don't care. Legs, don't care. Hemma, don't care. That has leech. But I think I just take the braces. I mean, I could take socket too. Uh, do I have much I could... I can, I could socket this ring. I think I want to craft on ring. I could socket helmet. I think this actually might be a socket. Because this is only 6 eye level on braces. And this character is way more, like, down bad with socket. So I think I just take socket. Especially because the stats on these are not very nice. High mastery. Mastery used to be good, but I think nowadays it's... Like, it's still okay, but especially if you want a dual spec, it loses a lot of value. You want crit haste more. Alright, two more characters to go. 
this one I actually enjoyed a lot playing. Um, this actually is one of my more like, I'm excited to play it each time like I do a dungeon. So as you'll see, I did actually eight dungeons on this character. So this is a Holy Paladin. Uh, I started playing the game back in like Wrath. And I did like a DK main originally. Um, but to get to my DK, because back in the day you had to like level something up. I did a Paladin. And it was a Holy Paladin. And I had a lot of fun. And it's always been like my second alt. Until like more modern raiding like history where... Kind of your second ult should be your same role as the, your main ult, as your main, sorry. But hopefully we get something good here. I think Trinket would be nice. Other than that, I think I'm just looking for eye level. Okay, got a shield. It's not a, really an upgrade. Ooh, a neck. Okay. A, f a 447 fragment. No. Not the fragment. Ah, fuck. That's heartbreaking. That on Boomy could have been so nice. Ah, it's heartbreaking. Oh, I realized I forgot to switch my scene back. Hehe. <laughs> so there's no webcam. My apologies. See, I'm really bad at this. Okay, so neck. So there's high haste verse. I think I will be going for neck because I I really need the neck to equip my second embellishment. I'm just using lariats right now. So very high mastery and low verse versus haste verse. I think like as paladin you want a bit of haste for sure, like 30 something. I think it might be like a break point. So I do have too much haste. So if I lose haste, it's not a big deal. I think verse is not good, and I think mastery is quite strong. Let me check here. Uh, let me check UGG. It's all gone well. It's a nice website. No sponsor. Alright, so let's see. It tells you like the stats. Verse that high? Really? Okay, I don't know if I trust that though. I'm going to be honest. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go on Warcraft logs and I'm going to check the logs of the Holy Paladin in my guild and see what stats he's running. So we're going to go on his stat breakdown. Okay, yeah, so his verse is quite low. I wonder if the UGG thing was like a like dungeon thing. Or, okay, so Mastery is quite good. I think I'm taking this neck. Yeah, I think I want this neck. Even though this one is 447, and this one would cost me upgrade quests, I don't like the stats on this. And I think the stats on this are quite nice, so I'm going to take that. <clears throat> Let me double check. Yeah, okay. Well, this trinket would have been really, really, really nice. I don't think I want a radius. Although it would be really nice for pro prot and hole or ret, but... I don't care enough. I think I'd rather just uh, wear my sport cloak ASAP, you know? So yeah, I'll deal with this later. Keep forgetting, okay, I need to set up my cam for next week. Alright, now this is the Turbo Rat. I wasn't planning on playing this character, but uh, my guild did like a last minute heroic run. The, I didn't have an alt ready for it, like I did, I got saved on everything else. So I was like, you know what, I have a 70 shaman, it's like 420 eye level. Let me just slither in. I actually do enjoy this class though. Like elemental on single target is quite fun. AOE, not so much. But single target was quite fun. As you can see, didn't quite pop off. But let's see what we get. I did get a 4 for 1 weapon, like potential, so that's good. I'm really looking for a trinket here, like a nice trinket would be, yeah, crisp. Because uh, friendship sensor, no, not the best trinket. Okay, no trinket. Uh, I don't, I don't even know the stats of this character actually. So we have belt, we have tear, and legs. Okay. Ooh, so okay, so this is an interesting choice. So there's a few questions. A, do I have another neck? Oh, I'm not even wearing a lariat neck, so I don't even need to worry about lariat. 
like replacements. So this neck loses a lot of value for me instantly, unless these are really good stats. Uh, let's see. Like, I'm just gonna open like some random elemental shaman on all stars. That's enhancement. And see what stats they use. This is usually what I do. No shocks. I've seen this guy's name before. Probably a good player. Let's check his Sarkarath first kill. He's probably decked out for it. Alright, so it looks like they stack heavy crit. Some haste, some verse. Pretty low mastery though. But very high crit is the important part. And this necklace has very, not very low crit, but pretty low crit. So I think I'm not that enthused. So it's between legs and chest. I have gloves. Hmm. Okay, so this would be the smart play. The smart play that I should do is to not take either of these. Because I don't know what I'm going to loot in the raid. And I think I care about four set more. Uh, I think I can just rat this character through another run. And not do much damage. So, Because if I loot chest and then I don't loot legs. And I loot chest, I'm going to feel bad. And if I loot legs now. And then I loot legs and not chest, I'm going to feel bad. Um... I have a Draconic Mark and Mastery from like the AOTC token. Uh, so yeah, I, I think... Actually, I guess what is the off piece that people use as well? Helmet, it seems. Yeah, it seems helmet. So, so even more reason, because I really need both of these. So I think I don't take either of these. And especially because they're heroic, and if I loot them from heroic, then I can take something else, like the belt, right? Or even or maybe the necklace. So unfortunately, I think I'll be leaving this character's vault here. Not the most enthusing end of this video. But we are here. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this was fun. I hope this was uh, enjoyable. Maybe it helps people with their vault decisions the way I make my like choices, I guess, as a DPS. Sorry about the whole cam thing. The switching scenes, I forget to do that stuff. I'll fix it for next time, I promise. Yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week. Good luck in your vaults.